Long before the vast territory of Eurasia were inhabited by the Saka tribes, the steppe was home to people, whose memory of which disappeared along with them. We would never have known about the ancient steppe if it were not for the inquisitive mind of archaeologists, who are ready for years to dig into the depths of the earth to restore the chain from those who lived earlier to our present day. Sariarka, Kazakh upland, stretching from the Turgai Hollow and the Turan lowland in the west to the Irtish Valley in the north. In the center are the Karkarali Mountains, the length of the vast steppe space over which picturesque mountain forest oases are scattered from west to east is 1,200 kilometers. For today's release, these 1,200 kilometers have another dimension, 4,000 years in depth in the Bronze Age. We began the study of the archaeological findings of Sariarka in the Karaganda Regional Museum of History and Local Lore. Archaeologist Adil Makien took us on a tour of the halls. Since the Stone Age, people have actively populated the steppe space and left traces. Jewelry, weapons, household items, ceramics. Many findings lie in rows under glass. Visitors' favorite hall of the Golden Man from Taldi to Mound, the discovery of the famous Kazakhstani archaeologist Arman Baisinov. The age of the Saka leader is 7 to 6 centuries BC. Active fieldwork of recent seasons replenishes the museum fund with artifacts, each of which is accompanied by an epithet, unique and has no analogues. Вот также экспонируются вот находки с Талдинского парка, это вот перед вами бронзовое долото. These are the findings from the Taldi Park. In front of you is a bronze chisel and such an interesting specimen, a bronze knife. A bronze vessel. There are only three of these in Kazakhstan at this time. This is the 19th to 18th century. Two of the vessels were found precisely in the Karaganda region, the Ashishu burial ground and the Nuratalbi burial ground. 19th to 18th centuries. This is BC. The vessel is almost 4,000 years old, the same age as the Egyptian pyramids, which, by the way, we will regularly mention in this program. You can get experience here in the museum on how to clear archaeological finds from the ground and then take part in real excavations. We went off to the east of Karagandi, where after a few tens of kilometers, the rate of civilization disappears and the steppe appears in its original form, a sea of grass and a huge sky. So, meet the archaeological expedition of Karaganda University named after Buketov. The expedition is headed by Igor Kukushkin, a leading researcher at the Sariarka Archaeological Institute. Do you remember the bronze vessel in the museum? These are the remains of that mound, the fence where one of the famous copper vessels was found. Experts in ancient metallurgy say that the copper vessel was made using a unique complex technology. It's possible that there was a metallurgical production here. It had to be very highly professional. There must have been some workshops somewhere. Apparently, such vessels were in wide use and were not extremely rare. We are located in the Taldi River Valley. This is one of the rivers of central Kazakhstan that never dries. It flows here since time immemorial. The landscape hasn't changed much. Good pastures that surrounded by high hills. Archaeologists have found Stone Age sites here. Those whom Igor Alexievich investigates lived in the Bronze Age, about 4,000 years ago, loved the forest steppe, and the most picturesque places were reserved for necropolises. Karaganda residents have been closely studying the Nurataldi burial ground since 2012. This is the so-called Andronov cultural community. It occupies a huge territory of the southern Urals, northern Kazakhstan and up to the Yenisei. 
It consists of two cultures, Alakol and Nura Fedorovo. This burial ground belongs to the Alakol culture even more, to the early Alakol culture. It's characterized by the fact that there are chariot horses. They were laid in the position of a chariot harness. These chariot warriors were buried there. What has been revealed to scientists since the beginning of the field season? In the burials of representatives of the early Alakol culture, there's a rather militaristic background. There are knives, spears, hooks. If archaeologists find bone remains, they send the remains for examination, where they find out not only the gender and age of the buried. This is also paleogenetic studies, that is, various haplogroups are identified, where they could come from, where they could go, with whom they had the connection. Paleoanthropologists define racial type and other traits. Odontologists are engaged in a diet, that is, by the teeth, they determine what a person ate, for example, meat, fish, did he eat more plant foods? What were the sickness at that time? From which sickness they could die? Scientists also come across objects in the ruined graves of Nura Talda. Often there are two vessels, a large one and a smaller one. According to Igor Kukushkin's assumption, one was placed during burial with food, mainly meat, the other with water. Bronze knives are found in a large vessel. For example, in a paired burial where there are four vessels, the woman has the knife. If she's alone, then the knife is also in the pot. This is already some kind of interesting household thing that the woman was in charge with the kitchen, and she cut, maybe even distributed to whom what piece of food to give. There are many early Bronze Age burial mounds in the Taldi River Valley. If in ordinary burials, next to the remains, there are a few objects. Then in the mounds, archaeologists find horses and chariots. They either lie with their backs to each other or with their hooves to each other, which symbolizes the chariot harness. These are the images we saw in petroglyphs. There are a lot of them. It's typical that they often lie, for example, a burial, and they lie in front of them. The burial symbolized the chariot, and it seems to be dragging the burial. Moreover, the horses lie as if on the top. Pointing the way to the sky, it goes up. <laughs> However, horse burials are also discoveries of recent years, when the state began to pay more attention to research. An extensive literature has been accumulated about chariots of the Bronze Age in central Kazakhstan. The horse is the central figure of the era that changed the course of history. Huge herds, endless steps. All this required mobility from the population of the Great Steppe. The horse was domesticated for the first time in the history of mankind five and a half thousand years ago by the Botai people, the inhabitant of today's northern Kazakhstan. The next step was taken by the steppe inhabitants of the Asian part of Eurasia at the beginning of the second millennium BC. A light two-wheeled cart was invented, especially for the horse, and the space was literally ripped apart. Then the chariots spread throughout the world, to ancient China, to the Sumerians, and then to Egypt, in order to firmly gain their military glory. You can now see such a chariot in Almaty right on the street without visiting the museum. Archaeologist Viktor Novozhenov presented an exact copy of the 1980 findings in the foothills of the Kent Mountains. Back to our mounds. Igor Kukushkin and his team are digging the main object of 2020 with shovels in the old-fashioned way. Archaeologists call it necropolis-based object because all ordinary graves are built around it. At the time of exploration, it was an earthen embankment with a diameter of 30 meters and a height of 2 meters. At the top, traces of a heavily swollen mud structure were visible. The hill was thoroughly inhabited by bushes and turned out to be with a big surprise. It was not a mound at all, but a real layer cake. The mausoleum of the Golden Horde time is probably the 14th century. It covers the mounds of the Bronze Age. Even on the surface, stone boxes are just about the Bronze Age. This mound is one of the largest mounds in central Kazakhstan.
Olja Sayatuli is a senior lecturer of the Department of History of Kazakhstan, Karaganda University named after Buketov. He is the Master of Archaeology and Ethnology. He has already taken part in 16 field seasons. Most of them were spent in Karakara links. They could be buried at different times. They could build a large grave. This tradition still exists among the Kazakhs. For example, they built a large grave. If one of the relatives dies, he will be buried in this grave next to the others. A raw mausoleum and a series of burials inside it, the period of the Golden Horde. The Horde chose the place for the necropolis, not by chance. In the middle of the steppe, a hill rose, representing an ideal place for burial. Perhaps they did not know that it was not a hill, but an ancient mound, until they came across stone boxes. Maybe they knew about the ancient graves and deliberately buried their relatives here, as in a holy place. Kazakhs often did it until recently. Now the task of archaeologists is to divide these two periods, between which three and a half thousand years. For example, here, as you can see, they left the curb. Why leave the curbs? In order to see what kind of soil here and what kind of soil was used at that time. What else do we know about the Bronze Age? It's a mound, characteristic of the Bronze Age, in the form of a mound above it. For example, if it were the early Iron Age, there would be many stones. Monuments from the times of the Golden Horde in the Taldi River Valley are not uncommon. For example, in one of the burial grounds of the necropolis of Nurat al -Dar, a warrior was found buried with a horse rig. Fragments of the saddle have been preserved. How did they arrive? Perhaps battles took place on this land. People who died from wounds could be buried here. Some may have wandered from the south through these lands. We were a nomadic people. Perhaps the wandering caravan was attacked by enemies. We cannot say for sure now. Burials in the Golden Horde took place according to the Muslim rite, turning their heads or face towards Mecca. Here is a child lying also to the west, and adults' face also looks west towards Mecca. Here, as you can see, we are just starting to dig. Here's an earthen jug. We think that we may find something a little deeper. Much time has passed. There were many events in these places. One of the lines of events is the channel that was here. Consequently, when developing virgin lands, these lands were plowed. Agricultural machinery turned out ancient stones, changed places. The task of archaeologists is to guess where the remains of the burials were originally. But this is later, in the winter during the cabinet period. It's important to study the mound to the ground now. These days, archaeologists work with the most common building material of our ancestors, with raw molded clay bricks. At one time, adobe mausoleums and houses stood throughout the steppe. But due to the fragility of the clay, only rare buildings of the 19th century have survived to us. This object is about seven centuries old. It's not surprising that when you use the shovel, the raw crumbles into dust. Painstaking and tedious work to clean the entire layer with a brush, but rewarding. The outlines are now visible. It was a portal-domed mausoleum, measuring 8 by 7 meters. There are eight burials inside, According to archaeologists, all of them are not robbed. That is very rare. Maybe because these are the burials of ordinary people, in whose graves they did not put something of value. Regular research in the valley has been carried out for 10 years with financial support from the Department of Culture of the Karaganda region. After a number of major discoveries, it was decided to create the Taldi Archaeological Park. In our Karaganda region, one doctor of sciences, six candidates of sciences work at the university. This is only in archaeology. Therefore, our Karaganda Archaeological School is one of the strongest in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. 
Specialists are trained here from an early age. A school of young archaeologists operates at the Karaganda Regional Museum of Local Lore. Children participate in summer excavations, and then they are promoted to enter the history department of a local university. If there are nine districts in the Karaganda region, then out of nine districts, by now, we have issued an archaeological map of seven districts. What is the advantage? We give the archaeological map into the hands of the Akim of each rural districts, into the hands of the Akim of each district, schools and libraries. Then each Akim of the rural district will know what monuments are on its territory. Rural Akims together with the Department of Culture of the region sign a protective obligation. Such a document on the protection of archaeological monuments exists so far only in central Kazakhstan. In the region, by the way, there are 3,000 objects, including the Begazi necropolis, which gave the name to a whole phenomenon in archaeology, Begazi Dandibaev culture. What is the purpose of creating the Taldi Archaeological Park? The goal is to excavate monuments, restore them and develop tourism. A big road is being built here. Every passing tourist, foreign or Kazakhstani, can turn off and see the archaeological park which is located along this large road. The Center for the Protection of Historical and Cultural Heritage plans to provide significant objects with plates in three languages and a QR code which will contain all the information about the monument. Uh, Only this year, during the excavations of the Akkesen settlement, the site of a large metallurgical furnace was discovered. This means that here, people not only lived and were engaged in animal husbandry, but also processed metal. This means that they process metal here, do not bring it from outside and made weapons and so on here. In total, there are up to 600 objects in the Taldi Park. Together with Igor Kukushkin, we decided to visit the most famous findings of local archaeologists, the pyramid. 120 kilometers southeast of Kargandi, a real wonder of the world in the middle of the steppe and small cattle breeding villages. 3,600 years ago, it was erected by representatives of the Begazi Dandibayev culture and would have disappeared in the darkness of centuries, but now it is an archaeological sensation. About 20 burials were found at the Karajartas necropolis. The dominant place here is occupied by this grand pyramid. Also, the pyramid is the center of the Taldi archaeological park, named after the river that flows here. Here is the Taldi river. An ethno village will be built on the other side, and such a swinging rope bridge will lead to the ethno village from here. In any case, archaeologists promise so. And now it becomes clear why the locals call Igor Kukushkin Tutankhamun. Folk humor is based on the association's Pyramid Pharaoh. The Egyptian ruler will be useful to us for a historical parallel. Tutankhamun lived in the 14th century BC, and the pyramid is 200 years older than the pharaoh. So the main discovery of the Karaganda archaeologists of the 21st century is the pyramidal steppe mausoleum of the late Bronze Age of the Baghazi Dandibayev culture. Such monuments are quite rare. We know of only five to six such large monuments, not pyramids, namely the Baghazi Dandibayev mausoleums. This one is the largest. Scientists also call such buildings rock mausoleums. A ground burial chamber is usually located in the center. What is interesting about this mausoleum? The fact that it has such steps which resembles a pyramid. There is even a so-called dromos. This is the entrance which is laid. 
In order to erect a pyramid, each side of which is 50 meters and a height of 4 meters, required significant labor costs. Flat slabs were mined in the mountains nearby. It took enormous efforts to peel off the granite and deliver it to the site of the mausoleum. Scientists explained this by the fact that the pyramid was erected at a time when there was a lot of population and resources, including human resources, were quite enough for grandiose, completely impractical construction sites for the burial of nobles. The middle of the second millennium is the time of transition to nomadic cattle breeding, which can be seen in the structure of the mausoleum. After the building of the pyramids, the Sakas ruled in these parts. In the Kurganach, there is also on the territory of central Kazakhstan, for example, in the Saka burial mounds in central Kazakhstan, ground cameras are also made, which also do not deepen. So there is some kind of continuity here. Dromos is well shown. It is often recorded. The findings in the pyramid delighted archaeologists. These are about 50 vessels of various types. Research around the mausoleum of ordinary burials yielded good material, knives and ceramics. For this particular mausoleum of Karajartas, it was interesting to find a gold ring, wide enough and with five rounded holes. There are only a few things related to gold in the Begazin burials. The fact is that the mausoleum was robbed in antiquity. It was all scattered over the territory. The robbers, when they penetrated, threw out what was not needed, lost something in the process. Maybe he robbed more than once, because there was a gap, they climbed from above. Nevertheless, we get something to create an idea of that era. Но тем не менее, что-то нам, хотя не в таком большом количестве, но достается, чтобы создать представление, восстановить представление о той эпохе. The famous archaeologist of Tsariarka, Arman Baisinov, was involved in the restoration of the pyramid in 2017. The rest of the valley's objects are waiting in the wings. For the glory of science, they have already worked. Now tourist visits, and there is something for lovers of antiquity to see. The most interesting thing is that at this place, three cultures at once settle in a burial complex. This is an early Alakol time. It is an early bronze which dates from the 19th to 18th centuries BC. Begazi Dandibai mausoleum is tied directly to the burial ground. Next to them is the Fedorov culture. The Fedorov culture is interesting in that there is a slightly different rite, in most cases cremation. Then crypts were created in the form of cysts. Horses are faithful companions of the steppe man of age. It's living and dead 4,000 years old. We are at the Kiziltau burial ground. There are about 20 structures here. Most of them have been investigated. Quite a large number of horses have been found here. These are the paired horses symbolizing the chariot. Here are the remains of a pillow where the horses were lying. The disease was laid on the left side in a crumpled position in an earth pit. Person was supplied with the necessary burial equipment, but it was the horses that were generally laid on the surface. Such is the contrast between men and horse. Horse higher, men lower. Road to the sun. We drive further along dirt roads, which seem to us senseless loops in a sea of grass, but for scientists, it's a thousand times past path to historical monuments. Together with them, as the heroes of a fantastic film, we move from one century to another. Over the entire period of research in central Kazakhstan, more than 300 barrows with moustaches have been discovered. The number is constantly growing. The mound on which we are now is close to the concept of grandiose. Because the length of one moustache is 185 meters, that is 155 meters. All this gigantic structure is crowned with a mound 
on which a grove of aspens has grown. Начиная с юга Казахстана, там вот есть такие священные места, называются Тоганколх. Beginning from the south of Kazakhstan, there are such sacred places called Torangulik. These are sacred trees. That tree hit the right place in the center of the mound. Wait, there are no trees in the area. The wind should at least bring seeds. There are springs and poplar and aspen nearby, and the seeds flew. But let's not mystify the viewer. The seeds flew in and sprouted in a pile of stones no more than half a century ago. A mound with a diameter of 16 and a half meters belongs to the era of the Huns. By all indications, the mound is the result of a mixture of cultures that took place within the framework of migration processes at the turn of the old and new eras. Along the moustache, we can see numerous stone boxes. Scientists explain them as places of funeral fees, incense, and the entire territory between the moustaches is called a platform for mass rituals. However, it is time to return to the main object of the archaeological season, a multi-layered mound. This part is from the Bronze Age. This burial of bronze went like this. It was cut off, but the part remained. It's medieval. Look, here is medieval, and this is bronze. Here is getting out a small box. Also for children. Children in general, there are many. In large mounds are often buried, such as to grandfather, to grandmother, under the protection of their ancestors. The main thing is not to break the finding when it is found, because over time they become very fragile, and I'm glad that I did not break the skull with a shovel. Well, this is the first such finding, large and holistic, in my life. Here are the layers. In order for the stratigraphy to be visible, everything is cleared of dust. Constantine is a non-professional archaeologist, but an active participant in excavations since childhood. He joins research teams from time to time. The historian is partly a reflection on what happened to these people, how they lived, rather not even a specific find, but in general how people lived here, build mounds, in which settlements they lived. A spot of unknown origin was found here. We thought we should check. There were 30 such children's burials in the mound. Local residents are closely watching the excavation process. They knew about the ancient graves, but they never attached much importance to them. Now seeing the activity of scientists, they themselves began to show interest. The territory of the district includes five settlements. All of them are located on the banks of the river, next to the Tagili Bugili Mountains. The number of inhabitants is about 2,000 people. Now they are excavating this necropolis. Last year they find a pyramid in a neighboring village. There is now a road being made, because tourists come and go there by road. It will be like a tourist route. It starts from here and along the Taldi River, 15 to 16 kilometers. There is something to explore everywhere, relying on the traditions and history of the Kazakhs. A few more weeks and the mound will be removed to the ground. As expected, a surprise awaited the archaeologists below. 
a construction of stones under a mound in the form of a solar symbol. There, two horses are forever frozen at a gallop, carrying the chariot to the south. Vessels from the burial and their outlines told that they were made from local clay at the beginning of the second millennium BC. Analysis of findings and reconstruction of objects is ahead. In addition, there are still many discoveries, each of which makes the past clearer, the foundation on which our entire world stands today.